Hello, 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 and welcome to an all-new episode of It's All Good. I am Shay. And I'm Latavia. Hey, girl, hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm all right. I not, I'm ready to get out of the house. Of course, we all are, all across America. However, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. You're right. But no, I literally had the thought the other day, like, I'm an introvert. I like being at home. Oh, and but you're going to get out of the house? I miss my people. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> like, I miss going out <laughs> and doing things. That you barely did the first time. Absolutely. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I wanted to be invited, even if I was going to tell you no. You can say, let me think about it. About it. I got to get a rain check. I'm not going to make it, girl. I'm on my way. You know, technically thinking second thought, I, I can't come today. <laughs> like, not, not today. Oh, that was today. I forgot. You know, I put that in my calendar on the wrong day. I thought it was next Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. I'm just saying. It's, it, I'm probably still going to use some of those same excuses. So, Latavia, since you're ready to get the house, and we start every episode with what you're grateful for. So what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for the Clark Sisters movie and that Awesome. It but they did a good job. Like I was really that. nervous about them messing it up. Because Lifetime has messed some movies up. Let's be real. So I was very grateful for that. And then just that it's I knew about them, but even looking on social media, I realized apparently quite a few people had never heard of them or didn't uh -huh. know. And so it's just great to see like them getting this almost kind of a resurgence or just a whole new okay. star, learning about them and their story, their message, and that they're still out here doing it and that they're real people. Yeah, and they actually did so well that they, I think, were the, one of the top movies of yeah, I saw that right now. So yeah, I think it's like in two years they were the high, highest ratings for Lifetime or a TV movie and something. In general, yeah, that's awesome. I, they yeah, still I break, they still breaking barriers and breaking records forty yeah, years later. Yeah. I thought it was a good movie. <laughs> well, let's see. For me, mm -hmm. what am I grateful for? Um, you know, I am grateful for I don't know actually <laughs> I was so thinking and I was like man I don't know you know I don't know I have I'm grateful for a house to sit in hey I'm hey, grateful to get a paycheck why because <laughs> a sister been over here looking at all the online shops I can't physically go out into a shop right so I have been looking and some of these places are having a really good sale. No a lie. Those places are having sales. No lie. I bought a new eyeshadow palette um, that I was able to play with the other day. Mm -hmm. And I made a little short snippet video. Um, yeah. That's about it. Well, I'm happy for a job. Girl, I that is that right there. In it itself. Is. Right, because I was even thinking earlier today, I was like, I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over every week, but, like, I'm so grateful for employment and that I'm still able to work and that I'm able to work from home. Oh, I, I was thinking of something else that I was really grateful for, but I can't share. Oh. Okay. I was excited. Well, I guess I can share. So you know how much I have enjoyed um, pole fitness. Uh huh. And I absolutely love pole fitness. I love the thought of it and everything. So the other day, I was able to get inverted on the pole hey. and hold myself up until I was like, "Yo, how do I get down?" <laughs> It's like, okay, I, I got I'm here, I was holding, and I said, I don't, I, I don't know what to do from here. Do I just let go and die, or <laughs> I don't know at all, but I was very excited about that. Well, I, seeing as though you're here, I can see you, and nothing appears to be broken. I think you, no, but my hand, 
my hand, I think I kind of did a um, handstand off. Okay. So I was wrapped around and I like just put my hands down to like hold myself up from the floor. And I flipped off that way, but like my hand kind of hurts right now. So, I mean, other than that, it's all good. But you know what? So I thought this would be a perfect time to, and this is a great segue anyway, to talk about our goals from 2019, like 2019, 2020. I just want to go back to 2019 because 2020 sucks. So, <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been all bad. No, it hasn't been it's all not, bad. It's certainly not what I thought. And you know what's funny is that, so earlier I took the opportunity, I know that you did also, we listened to episode one again. Yeah. So that we could revisit our goals. Mm -hmm. and it's been what very much april it's been like four months shut what? up i counted on my fingers don't judge me i didn't say anything oh, i know but i was like maybe i did it really too Listen. high so i thought four months would be a great time to do a little quick check-in and to just kind of figure out where are we in our goals how we're making our goals happen how have our goals changed are there new goals that we need to add on to mm -hmm. and so listening you said 2020 is not what I expected. <laughs> like, then we were joking about flying cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and whatnot. How, like, yo, look at this. This is definitely not. It's definitely not what, what I expected. expected. Like, and the fact that that was literally four months ago, if that. And it, yo, it feels like a, it feels like it was last year. It does. Like January in the early part of February legit feels like it was almost a year ago to the point of even when I was listening back, I was like, this was just a few months ago. It was. It Like, so much has changed. And so, like, I know that there's some goals that we had that we have been working on, and then there's some that we kind of can cross off, and then there's some that we might need to reevaluate. So, you no before that i wanted to say the one we can cross off for you is losing the small child because that oh, yes. that has happened and as we yes. have kind of commented on throughout this season like your your addiction you because and i thought about it i laughed you said you were like oh it takes like 14 days to get a habit and it was like 21 you're like oh, i'm over this it's like no you definitely did more than 21 days like you know. no and even in the midst of this scenario and this situation i'm still finding ways to stay active and and you know the i stepped on the scale today and i'm still going down and like that's a blessing because you know i'm i've, I've been doing well sticking like staying away from carbs mm -hmm. <laughs> last week <laughs> if the struggle is real. It was like, come on, Shay. You can eat this piece of bread. It's okay. Shay, you can have some pasta. It's just one bowl of pasta. Shay, come on. You can eat two cookies. Just two? Oh, okay, yeah, no, no. Just Why two. just two? No, 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 no. I stopped at two, but oh, that's great. two one day and two the next day. So it don't matter. But it's tough, hurtful. No, I understand, because ever since I made that pasta for my birthday, it's kind of been like, well... It's like one pasta? I don't pasta. know. Have I had more pasta? Does rice noodles count? Yes! Oh, well then... You said rice and noodles? No, rice noodles. Or like That's the... Pasta, rice is pasta. Like pad thai, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know. Well, yeah, so I made something with that fry. I made a stir fry Friday, and I added those. Oh, so you making food and didn't cut? Did you put um, crushed red peppers in it? Yes. <laughs> so if you don't know anything about Latavia. I love Latavia so much, like with all of my heart. Okay, but Latavia tries to kill me every time I'm she trying to kill you. She makes food so spicy that don't even need to be spicy. And I'm like, you made. Burgers, spicy burgers, sis. <laughs> they weren't spicy. They had flavor. No, they those things. So the burgers didn't have no cheese on them. They didn't have no sauce, no condiments, no nothing. Because they, they were seasoned no enough that they didn't need a sauce. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I cut down on the extra calories. 
I'm not mad. What I'm mad about is she didn't she didn't warn nobody. <laughs> I went into this burger and there is literally my mouth is on fire. I'm like, is it exaggerating? I am not, and you know it. Yeah. I literally looked at you and downed a bottle, like a bottle of water, and was like, "What did you do? What is this?" And you were like, it's "Crushed red peppers in there." Wait, what? I mean, crushed red pepper or cayenne pepper is one of my kind of base seasonings. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like it. Kill all of us regular people. It's okay. I'm well. I'm not regular, but I don't. I didn't think it was that. I wasn't intentionally trying to make it spicy. because your taste buds are accustomed to this this fire that you you know put yourself through every time you eat. Well, then you definitely wouldn't have liked the 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 stir fry that I made Friday because I added. I had kind of two conflicting ideas, like thoughts of what I wanted to do. So it was, I used turmeric, curry powder, ginger, and cayenne or crushed red pepper, like in seasoning the meat and the vegetables. Yeah, no, no, thank you. I appreciate it. You know what? It definitely had some heat to it, but it had a real, I thought it had a good flavor. I know. Every time I go to visit Latavia, if she says she's cooking, I bring my own food now. No, you do that because you're not eating anything carb related, and it's like uh, I have to ask. The oh, point is that you're trying to kill me. I have to literally look at you and be like, "What you put in it?" Well, if I know that you are going to be coming or eating, then I will be mindful of that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Add all of those. Things. Well, since you're being mindful, sis, thank you. Let's be mindful about your new goals that you need to add to your list. What have you accomplished so far? Nothing? (laughs) (laughs) She was like, let me think about my goals. Let me count the ways. No, I literally, okay. So one, I would say that I have accomplished or I'm actively working towards is just healthier lifestyle. Being healthier. in terms of my eating, exercising, just being more active. So I have I have lost weight since the beginning of the year. Um, I haven't really kept track as well, but it's more so like I'm seeing it in, I do see it on the scale with like my clothes, even my face, just different things. Right, my, you got new waist beads? Yes, my waist beads have dropped. So I had to get some new ones to measure new goals. Um, one of the things that in listening back and even I had the thought um, over the weekend is one of the things I talked about was wanting to do more business wise and helping, you know, kind of helping others get their businesses started and do things like that. Or even just some of the stuff with the podcast, I realized like, oh, you know, we started off as we're going to do X, Y, Z and had this list and then life and COVID-19 happened and yeah I realized like the last month and a half although it feels like the last six months right um that some of those things that kind of fall into the wayside and so it's like hold up we gotta we gotta work on those I work on it. so um you know it's kind of like readjusting or reevaluating like okay the year isn't over there is still time so let's Let's get back to it. So just be prepared. You're going to start getting a lot. Your The calls, texts, and emails are going to start up again. So just prepare. Y'all understand. Latavia work. Like, if I don't respond to her in five. First of all, that's not what those are about. It's when I have an idea or I'm working on something. Yes. And if I don't I respond to her within like five, ten minutes, um, did you get my text? I got you, sis. I got you. Don't, don't I got you. me. I got you. I don't. Okay. We're home right now. I'm I'm slightly working. Slightly. Doing a little something. something. Mm-hmm. Me and my kids have an understanding. And when we get on on, on Zoom calls and, and all these other calls anyway, they don't ever want to talk to me about classwork. They just want to share with me about what's happening in their lives. Right. Because they miss, they miss people. They miss you. They miss being they do. And even when I tell them, hey, get off my call, they just sit there. No. I'd be like. I'm not ready. That's what they say. You know, but I'm like you, though, with some of these goals. Um, 